on the Black World Media Network. Events on the 9th day of January, taken from the Annals of Global Black History. January 9, 1914, the National Party of Orange Free State was founded by J.B.M. Herzog. Under its later name, the National Party, the party took control of South Africa and created a white supremacist apartheid state. Herzog will be South Africa's prime minister when his party comes to power and will implement the evil apartheid policies. Today in 1946, poet County Cullen dies at age 42. Cullen was one of Black America's greatest poets and novelists. One of his most controversial works was The Black Christ and other poems. One of his best-known students was the great writer James Baldwin. On January 9, 1961, thousands of white people violently rioted because Charlene Hunter and Hamilton Holmes registered at the University of Georgia, becoming the university's first black students after federal judge William Boodle ended a two-year fight to integrate the school. Over 2,000 white students, local residents, and Ku Klux Klan members yelling racial epithets rioted and Miss Hunter and Mr. Holmes were escorted home by Georgia state troopers. Judge Boodle ordered the university to readmit Hunter and Holmes, becoming the first black undergraduate students to graduate from the University of Georgia. On this date in 1967, the Georgia legislature finally seated Representative Julian Bond. In an amazing anti-democracy display of arrogance, Georgia legislators had refused to allow Bond to take the seat he had duly won because of his opposition to the U.S. war in Vietnam. But in 1966, a U.S. Supreme Court ruling declared their action unconstitutional. On this date in 1991, the school year begins in South Africa, and as the apartheid era of racial oppression draws to a close, for the first time, black students are admitted to 205 public schools previously reserved for whites. Today in Black History, events taken from the annals of global black history. 